Hello, this is my X Factor review um, for this week. Um, initially, initially, I wanted to do um, two separate reviews, one for the performance show and one for the results show, but um, I've been really busy this week with school and I got sick and I just didn't have time, so I'm just going to make it one video, so um, I'll go ahead and say what each person sang won't give any thoughts, only because I, don't, I won't have enough time. But I will uh, read what everyone sang on Wednesday night. First up was the Stereo Hogs, and they sang Rhythm Nation. Second up was Chris Renee, and he sang Superstar. Next up was Leroy Bell, and he sang I'm Already There. Next up was Rachel Crow. she sang Walking on Sunshine. Next up was Lakota Rain. They sang Landslide. Next up was Josh Kratchik. He sang Jar of Hearts. And then next up was Melanie Amaro. She sang Desperado. Next up was Astro. And he sang Hip Hop Hooray slash Get Your Freak On. Then Intensity sang Kids in America slash Party Rock Anthem. Then Drew sang Just a Dream. Then Marcus Canty sang Nothing on You and Every Little Step. And next up was Stacy Francis, and she sang Up to the Mountain. All right, let's get on to the results. Um, uh, the X Factor came on. Steve Jones takes the stage and says, who will leave tonight? Um, Steve Jones is really annoying. I really don't like him at all. He's the host. He's a horrible host. His accent is really annoying. Like, normally I don't have a problem with British accents, but, like, his accent is just, like, extra annoying for some reason. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, he's annoying, and he's a horrible host. I want Ryan Seacrest. God damn it. Um, first thing that they did was they had a group performance. Supposedly the group performance was lip-synced, which I didn't really notice while watching. And then when I went back on and looked at, um, looked at, uh, MJS's big blog... I read it and I was like, oh yeah, I guess it was lip sync. And supposedly Leroy Bell messed up, but I didn't re I didn't even realize that when I watched it. I guess because I just wasn't paying attention. But he like started like after he the lip sync. And then I, w I w watched it again after I, f I realized it was lip sync. And I could definitely, definitely tell that it was lip sync. So, um, I mean, I don't really have a problem with that. I mean, I kind of understand why it was lip sync because... I mean, if it was, like, just, like, 12 people, like, they do on American Idol, I mean, yeah, they can do it live, but because they have the groups, there's, like, so many people, and it's hard to blend everyone's voices, so, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with it, I mean, uh, it's the result show, it's not like they're, the live show, they're, the actual show, they're doing it, so, whatever, I don't care, people lip sync all the time. It was still a cool number besides the fact that it was lip synced. Um, another thing about the group number is Astro Messed Up. I actually didn't really notice that when I was watching it. I think I think when I was watching it, I was talking to my brother at the same time, so I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, so next up was they like showed like a promo for Pepsi, and the contestants were talking about like how they were excited that they would be able to get a chance to be in the Pepsi commercial or whatever. It was just this thing to fill in the time. It was kind of cool, but it was I just wanted to know the results already. And then Out of Sight sang Tonight's the Night. Never heard of him. Never heard the song. It was okay. Didn't really like it. Okay, and then they... I don't like the way that they did the results. They had everyone come out and stand on the stage. And then he would um, announce people who made it in. So the first person... Who did he announce was the first person? I think it was Marcus he announced first. Well, they announced everyone, and then the two people that ended up being in the bottom two were the Stereo Hogs and Intensity. So this, those two were completely... I did not think that those two were going to be in the bottom. I thought it was going to be Lakota Rain and Leroy Bell. Those were my two that I thought it was going to be. And then when they called Leroy Bell, I was like, oh my god, really? Then they called Lakota Rain, and I was like, oh my god, who's going to be in the bottom? So... And then once they said that, I was like, well, I think Intensity is going to be in the bottom now. And then I wasn't expecting Stereo Hogs. Um, but um, they had to do a sing-off. 
Um, I really like intensity, so I was sad to see them um, being in the bottom. I Nick Dean, he is one of the people in the group out of ten. He is from Rochester, New York, and I am from that area, so um, I have been supporting him before he was even in the group. So I was a fan of them, and I I really like them. Um, I think the reason their problem was is their fan base was pretty much just like kids. I don't think older people really were relating to them at all, so uh, that's probably why they were in the bottom. So Stereo Hogs took the stage first, and they sang Emotion by Barbara Streisand and ba Barry Gibbs. Gibb. I did not like this at all. It was boring. Uh, the harmonies were good. That was about it. Everything else was just horrible about it. I just did not like it at all. And after that, I was like, okay, Intensity is going to do way better than them. Like, seriously. But, um... They really didn't. They kind of did the same. They had a better song. They sang My Life Would Suck Without You. But you can tell that they were just so shooken up. And um, Elola, who's like the main girl singer, she was really pitchy. And um, Austin, one of the guys who sings a lot, he was really pitchy. So, and, and it was hard because like they just stood there. like they Because it's like a sing for your life round, they don't have time to like do a choreo choreographed the number so it was like um them just standing there which is kind of awkward for groups and it worked for the stereo hogs because they did a slower pace song but because they did a faster pace song with them just standing there saying it just looked really weird but um after they sang this i really wasn't sure who they were going to send home because i think they were both equally bad so um what happened was is simon which surprisingly he sent home the stereo hogs. I think he really liked intensity, but um the others didn't unfortunately. Paula sent home intensity. I am I uh, and I could tell that the kids are really upset about that. I mean, I could understand like it's their mentor and their mentor saying no to them and they're young, so it's like hard to like take that in. They were all crying. It was uh, whatever. And then Nicole sent home intensity. And then I swear to God, I thought L.A. was gonna, was just going to make it like a tiebreaker and have that do the lowest votes. And I honestly, I think if that happened, I think Stereo Hogs would have went. I I believe that Intensity had more votes than Stereo Hogs because on Twitter they have a lot of. I follow everyone on X Factor on Twitter, and on Twitter they have a lot of supporters on there, and um, that that tweet regularly. And I don't see that much for Stereo Hogs, so I'm assuming that. Intensity had a bigger fan base, so I was hoping that Intensity, that LA would say Stereo Hogs so that it would just be fair, like they do it on American Idol. But seriously, it's annoying when the judges pick. Like, just just have it do what America wanted. Like, if America made a mistake or that America made a decision that you didn't like, oh well, that's what happened. You gotta work with it. But um, whatever. But uh, yeah, LA sent home Intensity, so they went home, and they were all crying, and, uh, and then it was over. Um, overall, good. Um, there was 10 million votes for this week, I read. A uh, very good show this week. Very much enjoyed it. Um, hopefully next week my videos will be a little bit more lively. Um, everyone in my house is home right now, so I'm trying to be quiet. And, uh, I'm really sick and tired, so. Alright, so comment, rate, subscribe for more, update, for more updates on X Factor and American Idol. Bye-bye.